Hi, I'm Emmett, and today I'm going to be showing you how to change a ribbon of IDP Smart 51. When there is about 25% left of the ribbon, the driver of the 51 will alert you of this by a small pop-up window on your computer. Another way to check the balance is to press the button here, and it'll tell you how many prints are left on that ribbon. For this process, we're going to keep the printer switched on. So the first thing we're going to do is open up the printer and take out the ribbon cartridge. So now that the cartridge is out, when you turn it over, you'll notice that the take up is now full and the supply is low. You're going to want to take this out just by pulling up on these here and then pulling it together. You then need to securely dispose of your ribbon because it may have important information on there that you wouldn't really want to get in the wrong hands. If you do need any help with securely disposing of your ribbons, then do give us a call on 0800 988 2095. When we're inserting a new ribbon into the cartridge, we need to make sure that the supply spool goes on this side closest to the hook and the take up spool goes on this side. So there's a diagram inside as well, which can really help you out if you're having a bit of trouble with that. But all we need to do is place the ribbon in like that, pull this side over, pop that in the back and push it down there. These sides should be pushed in completely and on the other side, it should look like that. With a YMCK or printer ribbon, you'll also receive a cleaning roller. Now the easiest way we found to replace this is to turn the cartridge over, pull out the old cleaning roller, pop the new one in and then just slide the protective film off like that. Now that the ribbon cartridge is completely prepared again, we're going to place it inside of the printer. If you're wondering to any problems, there's a diagram inside which shows you exactly how it should go in. But the way I remember how to do it is that the hook and the cleaning roller should be at the front of the printer. So I sort of put it on a tilt like that and then you can sort of drop it into place. Once you've done that, all you need to do is close the lid and you can now start printing again. If you did struggle with anything along the way, then you can contact our support team by giving them a call on 0161 475 5346 or you can email them at support at digitalid.co.uk. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you again soon. I swear so if I start talking and you start making weird noises. With a YMC... <laughs> YMCKO, it's not hard.